wow, there's like all these kids that are doing what we've been doing. We didn't know what we were doing. Putting plywood up on a wheelbarrow to see who could go the farthest and stuff like that. But once the word got out, all these kids, you know, were doing it all around the world. Just gravitated into this new thing. When we actually did a downhill track, I mean, that's where the speed started picking up, bigger jumps. We really felt like we were motorcycle guys because we're going a lot faster, jumping a lot higher. I think it was a little bit more ruthless. If you had a problem with somebody, you know, I'd take them out. That made us the bad boys of BMX, and we definitely were the bad boys of BMX. We kicked ass everywhere we went. When I was a kid, I didn't get a lot of support for riding a BMX bike. Because in the 70s, riding a BMX bike, and you're 17, 18 years old, everybody looks at you like you're pretty weird. As things evolved and the sport took off, then they stopped giving me grief. We would do a show wherever we could. First tour, people didn't know what was really going on. People would just look at us, they wouldn't know when to clap, they wouldn't know what we were doing or that you were even supposed to do that on bikes. Whatever it was, just anything was possible, you could do anything. And just because you didn't know how to do it didn't mean that you could do it. It was really the highlight of my life. None of us really knew what we were doing, but this is what has to happen. This is the mission, it's on. It was like everybody come together, feed off of each other's tricks. You might leave with a few hundred bucks. Most likely you'd leave with a story to tell and a concussion. What kids are doing at 15 years old now is unheard of when I was 15. Stuff is insane. Kids are throwing big stuff every single day. You know, I was just Joe kid on a stingray. He was like a god. And wherever Stu went, you know, you would just about bow your head. I thought, you know, man, I could be like that, you know, it was like stomping Stu Thompson. Stu was the man back then. In the early days, he had the whole thing going on right away. You know, he was one of the early, if not the one of the first heroes of the sport. You know, at, at one point we were at different levels. And then we leveled off and we competed against each other and we raced each other vigorously for years. You know, it's, it's going, to, going to the office every day and battling against all these guys, but obviously battling against your brother-in-law. My brother was also racing and then they were competing against each other. So it was really difficult because here I had my husband and I had my brother and, you know, you have a lot of tension regarding that. Stewart's competitive, but he's not as aggressive as Greg Hill is. You know, so here's Greg just kind of like just nipping at his heels, dude. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, you know. And Stuart's probably thinking, damn, dude, just freaking back off. We formed a friendship, all of us formed a friendship, like being at this long summer camp together and going through all these crazy experiences. Like, again, it's kind of like, like Band of Brothers kind of thing. I went to war as a soldier. 